Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Let us begin learning about date times and presenting date times using a format specifier. So notice here I said from date time, import date time. Date time, year, month, day, hour, minute, second. Assign that to current date. Notice I'm gonna print it and then that's the value. Now, the first thing that we're gonna be learning is the function string f time. So let's do a very simple expression. You can see here, we're gonna print the current date and then use the function str f time. M is for month, D is for day, and Y is a two digit year. Now notice I have put slash in between each of the parts. Let's go ahead and run that. And then notice we get the month, the day, and the year. Now let's change that a little bit. Say I do not want leading zeros. Well, notice here I just said M. Now to remove leading zeros from any expression, all you have to do is say pound, and then that will make the leading zero go away. Now notice here on our year, we have the last two digits, so we can turn that into a capital Y, and now we can get a four digit year. That's just an intro to str f time. Let's learn some more. In our next example, we can say day equals the current date of day. And then we can say print the type of day. And when I execute that, it's gonna get the data type of the day attribute on the object current date. Let's go and see what that is. Notice that's telling us it is an integer. But when I say day equals the current date, now guess what we're gonna be using here? String F time, and then we just say percent %D. So this is telling me, hey, from this object, use this string function, and let's go ahead and get the day out of that. I'm then gonna assign the output of this to a variable called day. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll say print day, and then I'll say print the type of day. Let's see how this works out. So notice that we get back 25, and then notice the data type is a string. This kind of gives it away right here. String F formatted time. You get it. On example 29, notice I'm using current date, str, f, time, and then lowercase a. That gets me the day of the week. Notice it's an abbreviation for the weekday name. Now, if I use capital A, you can see that gives me back the, the full name of the day of the week. In 31, notice that we're using percent %B, lowercase, and that gives me back the abbreviation for the month name. Now, if I want the full month name, I get capital B. Let's go ahead and run that. And of course, if I want these together, I could came over there and said percent %A, and notice we're getting both the month name and the day of the week. Now remember, the Julian is the number of days from the beginning of the year until today. Remember, today's for current date is 925 of the year 23. Now look what else we can do with this. We can come in and say, okay, let's go back to January the 5th, and notice I have a percent %J. You know percent %J is Julian. Let's go ahead and execute that. You'll notice that it's led by zeros. Now above, we showed you how to get rid of them by using the pound. So all I have to do is come in here and say pound, re-execute this, and you'll see the zeros go away. You see that? Nice. Let's look at the next exercise. We're gonna be looking at Sunday as the first day of the week. As you can see here in 2021, January the 1st falls on a Friday. The second is the second, and the third is a Sunday, and this is when the week begins for this format specifier. So any date before that first Sunday will always be zero. So the first and second will always be zero. Let's take a look. As you can see, the first and second 
fall on Friday and Saturday. We just learned week begins with Sunday, so 1 and 2 would be 0. Let's prove that. So notice here, we're going to come into here and say 1, 1, give me u. That right there should give us 0. Now if I come to the second, that should give us 0. And now I'm going to go with the third, and that should give us 1. Now, if I want to remove the leading zero, how do you think I would do that? We have learned that the pound will remove that. Execute, all gone. Looking at 52, week starting Monday, notice we're using 2021, the 3rd of January. Well, the 3rd of January is this Sunday. Now, the week does not begin until Monday, so everything before the 4th would be a zero. Let's prove that. Ready? Execute. Notice we got zero. Now, if I come over to the 4th, this should give us a first. To remove the zero leader, you know how to do that now. You just put the pound symbol. In our last example, notice I'm using... I'm using January the 4th, 9 o'clock in the morning, 7 minutes, 5 seconds. So then I just have a label here, time is, and then hour, minute, seconds. You can see that down here. Now, of course, you can use the pound symbol to take away the zero. But in this case, the zero is very important. I recommend leave it in there because now this kind of looks weird. I wouldn't know what that is. And there you have it, team, STRF time. It's a great format specifier. Got any questions or comments? Please leave them below. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video. Take care.